right? So I started this channel so that other people who are interested in trying to do open mics or stand up can see what it's like you know, before and after any uh, mic and uh, trying to get at least a total of 50 subscribers so I can go live on YouTube at sign book the comedian subscribe like dislike comment so <clears throat> let's do some new material start off with so they say strike while the iron is hot I'll get right into that right after I just tell you all just a little bit about myself my name is book in music news, Mr. Sean Puff Daddy P. Diddy Combs' ex-girlfriend has filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against him in the tens of millions of dollars. The rap mogul paid an undisclosed settlement to take care of that matter, leaving an unknown comic like myself to say, now we all know why his name is Diddy. Because Diddy, 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 Diddy do it? Why, yes, he did pay an undisclosed amount to settle that matter. <clears throat> Muddy Talks, Don't Let BS Walk. In other related news, three more female victims had filed the same sexual harassment lawsuit against Mr. Combs after the first settlement had been paid out. Begging the question by even more people who want to know more about his name. Like, did he? File bankruptcy? Well, if he did not, it sounds like soon he just might. Recent news has surfaced. Mr. Combs' former music producer has filed a sexual assault charge against him, claiming that Mr. Combs sexually assaulted him. <clears throat> you see, for Diddy, it does not matter if you're male or female. He just might sexually assault you. If Diddy not do it already, just in. News flash. Hot off the press. Mr. Combs' houses have been raided by federal agencies looking for incriminating evidence on digital media. Mr. Combs and his attorney are calling it a witch hunt. Agree, I too am calling it a hunt for which other victims will go out and get your cookie. Strike while the iron is hot. So, on a serious note, tell you all more about myself. I've been diagnosed as an ambivert. What that is, is I am both extroverted and introverted at the same time. Which generally means I can never just go in screw myself.